Hi YouTube, I'm here to share with you guys um, two cards I created and as well as some 3x3 three three cards. So I've been playing around with my foil in my uh, mink machine and I wanted to try out this really cool technique using this Deco 4 transfer gel. Um, I saw a technique here on YouTube and I wanted to try it out. So I used this and I want to share with you some of the backgrounds I was able to get using that transfer gel. This is really pretty. I'll have a process video at the end um, if you're interested. So um, I, this is really, really pretty. This really pretty green. I just use white as a background um, for my images. And that image was used with this stencil that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Really pretty. And then I just played around with some fall colors and did this one using this stencil that I picked up from Tuesday morning. And then this one turned out really, really pretty. As well as this one. And on this one I used um, some shimmer type paper. And I really, really love how that one turned out. And that was using this stencil. Okay, I also picked this up from Hobby Lobby. All right, and then the two cards I'm going to share with you. I use this stencil right here. Okay. All right, so let me share with you the first card. So here's the first card. And you can see the stencil piece here with the foiling. I use like a rose gold on that. And so um, I had to create a birthday card for my friend's daughter. And um, uh, she's been friends with my oldest daughter since elementary school. So she's very special to me. And she's turning sweet 16. So this is the card I created for her. Um, also, the centerpiece of the rosette pieces layered on top of each other was actually gifted to me by Vanessa, who is crafting with a smile. She created a wand for me, and I was going through my craft items, and I stumbled upon it, and I thought, ooh, that would be really, really pretty for a card. So I decided to highlight it uh, for this particular card. I used a happy birthday sentiment from um, Anna Griffin Sentiment Stickers. I uh, put the number 16 on here with some stickers. Um, actually, the paper, if you can see how beautifully that's embossed, that paper is actually from a gift bag that I picked up from Walmart. Um, I was it, My eye was drawn to it because of the detail embossing that was on the gift bag. And so I decided to highlight that um, for this card. I use my um, infamous La La Land filigree corners with a little pearl, well not pearl, but a center there, a bling center. And um, I think this card turned out so, so pretty. I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I also used some um, gold card stock. Um, this card measures six by six. And you can see that absolutely beautiful paper um, that I highlighted there. And then here's the inside of the card. Now it's going to be quite a bit of a glare, you guys. So I'm apologizing now. But I'm not going to open it all the way up because it has that gold and it is a glare. And I put a little gold butterfly in there. But that's the inside. And so that's the first card I created. Alright, and here's the second card I created. Um, somewhat similar to the first one, uh, but not as dimensional. I used the same paper from the gift bag. You can see the doily using the uh, transfer gel. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I used a um, sentiment in the center that comes from Anna Griffin Sentiment Stickers. And the ribbon actually came from the gift bag. So I used the ribbon from the gift bag and just created a bow on the card. This piece right here is actually an earring that I picked up from an antique mall. So, and I used the copper color for this particular card. 
You can see the copper La La Land filigree corner die. I die cut that in um, copper. And I put it in both corners there. And um, the back, use that same paper. And here's the inside of this card. Um, I'll share with you the spell binders. I use the Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch there. And I'll share with you the spell, bind, spell binders items I used. I use this one right here. You can see the name there. And in the inside of the um, first card I shared, I used this one. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to share with you real quickly, if I have time, here's some 3x3 three three cards I um, created real quickly using that same gift bag and some stickers from Hobby Lobby. So, this is the spell binders I used for two of the 3x3 three three cards. And um, here they are here. And I love this. With God, all things are possible. And you can see the Spellbinders featured there with that same really, really pretty embossed paper. So that one, this one, as well as this one. And here's the back of it. And I put some more, that sticker on the back, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, that's pretty and this will make a really good um, really pretty gift set okay and here's the last one and here's the back okay and the stickers if you're interested I picked those up from Hobby Lobby are these right here okay so that was really fun and then I also used this stamp set for my sympathy card uh, picked this up from Michaels and yeah, so if you're interested in the transfer gel in my process that I use to create uh, my two cards, stay tuned um, to the end of this video and make sure you do something with love and passion. You will start your process to make sure your um, stencil is adhered down with, with like some painter's tape. You will apply your Deco 4 transfer gel to your stencil. You would use some sort of plastic um, spatula, um, you know, to spread your transfer gel. You're going to make sure you spread it pretty thinly. Um, it's really easy to apply, so make sure it's even and thin as you apply it to your stencil. And um, if you have any excess, just make sure you uh, put that back in your container. Um, to save, you know, on your transfer gel. So you see that I'm applying the transfer gel and this is what it will look like after you have finished. Okay, you're going to slowly remove your painter's tape and remove your stencil, stencil from your um, paper background. Remove it kind of slowly. Um, you don't want to um, disrupt the design. Next, um, this is what it will look like. And um, for mine, I just let it um, sit overnight um, to dry because I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry before I applied the foil. So this is the next day and it will be a clear consistency um, that lets you know that um, the transfer gel has dried. So make sure that is you know, has that clear look or appearance to it. Next, you're going to apply the foil. You're going to use like a transfer folder, put the foil on top, and then you're going to run it through either your Heidi Swap uh, foil machine or a laminator, whatever you have, and you're going to just run it through. You see that it's slowly going in here. And next, you're going to slowly remove the foil from the transfer gel. And just make sure you remove it pretty slowly um, once you do so, you know, to make sure you get a good image. 
You can use a like shim, cardstock shim if you want to help with the foiling. Um, I did on a few of mine, so I noticed that it did help with the um, application. So slowly remove it here. And then look just how beautiful the foiling is. I absolutely love this technique. It's really, really simple and easy to do. So I hope you guys give it a try. Bye.